Israeli army of killing more than 150 Palestinian children and wounding many thousands more with bullets, beatings and tear gas. Israeli military leaders reject the attack and say the Palestine Liberation Organization are manipulating the children in their campaign to win control of the occupied territories. This from Anne Carroll in London. The Intifada or uprising began in the Gaza Strip, officially on December the 9th, 1987, but there had been other outbursts before then. Some in the occupied territories say that two and a half years on, the Intifada has become part of everyday life for Palestinians and Israelis alike. Today's report, researched over two years, gives some idea of the toll. Concentrating on Palestinian children, it claims 159 have died as a result of Israeli army action. Half, it says, were shot. Others died from the effects of tear gas or beatings. It also estimates up to 63,000 have been injured. The scope of uh, violence against children is on a higher level than we would have expected, and it has hit uh, children at a very low age. In fact, the average age is as low as 10 years. But the Israeli army rejects the charges. It says not one child has been killed by tear gas. And it says the suggestion that we intentionally attack children is obscene. It accuses the Intifada leaders of deliberately putting children in the front line. And one military man said, they send the children out into the streets and urge them on to violence. Then they blame us for the casualties. The South African president, Mr.